Hello, it's Carly from Little Sloth, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to share my down on paper project for the month of March on video, um, so that way you guys could actually see what my layouts look like. And the funny thing is, I'm actually filming this on my iPhone. I tried to do it on my big camera, and I couldn't get the lighting right. It was really dark. And so I've duct taped my cam my iPhone to my camera's tripod to get this video. So I hope it turns out good. I'm trying to do it all in one take, so please forgive me if I stumble a little bit because I don't want to have to do a ton of editing. Anyway, so if this uh, works out and looks good and everything, I will probably do this for each one because I think um, it'll be better to actually see what I'm doing and me be able to explain it a little bit better than that. So here's the first week in March. Um, March was a pretty cool month for me. I actually got to go home to Washington to see my family. But the first part of March I was home and um, a lot of these spreads I like to put other stuff on. I like to put little tickets or souvenirs that we've um, that I've collected during those weeks or that I've just kept like business cards or plane tickets and stuff like that. But these actually two pages, I don't have anything with. So these are just flat pages. I, um, I do all the layouts in Photoshop. So I actually have this square pattern already done in Photoshop and saved. And then I just take the photos and drop them in. So I just drop them in and then, you know, put them on the square layout and um, then yeah, I have my page and so this is as you can see there's nothing else on this It's just the piece of paper and I do print on both sides to save paper So yeah, and I do write usually write some little notes uh, These next few weeks. I was kind of scrambling. It wasn't you know a Huge priority of mine to get my layouts done because I wanted to spend time with my family But I did end up doing my layouts while back in Washington because I didn't want to get too behind I knew that if I saved them all for when I came back to North Carolina that I would be really behind and I probably would be overwhelmed and wouldn't want to do them. So yeah, so here's the first two weeks. I flew back to Seattle on the 8th, I think, of March. And yeah, here's some airport photos. Like this photo right here, you can see is actually um, one whole photo, but I um, cut it in half with the um, I just merged these two boxes and then laid over top and um, created a clipping mask in Photoshop with this photo. So I do that with sometimes when I have like a longer photo that I don't just want to cut into a square. So yeah. And then here is the um, next week in March. My grandma actually ended up passing away on March 11th and that's the reason I went home in the first place. She was really sick. Um, but it was really nice to get to see her for four days before she passed, or three days before she passed away. And it was nice to be there for her funeral and everything like that. With this uh, one, I actually, so this one I actually didn't print on both sides. You can see that there's this, the piece of paper from the week before is still in there. But um, I scanned in her obituaries that I collected in the newspaper, which I still have the originals. But I wanted to put them in here as well. So I knew I'd have a place to find them and I have... I typed out obituary so I knew what um, I was going to put there and I just taped them a single piece of tape on the top. That way um, you could flip up and still read the whole one underneath. And then I have like some pictures of her here and then the date which she lived in when she died. And that's just, you know, for me. And then the next page, um, we went to Spokane for a tournament. And like this page is all just, um, there's nothing else over top. Like this text right here, I just typed in Photoshop on top of the photo before I printed it out. And then, yeah. And then I Skyped with uh, Knox and Clark right here. And then the next week, um, you can, as you can see, the printing on these pages aren't very good. I must have not have made sure the printing quality was the best. But um, that's okay. Um... So yeah, these two pages too, there's not really anything on top. There is a little business card here that I put in. And um, this photo I was going to tell you about, I actually um, created one photo and then put the boxes in here and then just overlaid it on a bigger square um, like this one. So that's why there's many squares within this one. This page actually isn't a whole week. It's actually just a couple days, but I wanted to do um, a bigger spread because I took a lot of photos 
and I wanted to, um, you know, show it off, remember it a little bit more. And the reason I am doing this project is because I want to keep these photos and not just have them sitting in a folder on my computer. And I do post some of these on social media, like I posted this one on social media, but, and no, I didn't post that one. Anyway, a lot of these photos, though, I don't, and, and um, or I don't even post a lot on my blog. I think I posted a couple of these on my blog, but um, I wanted to remember more than just, you know, what I have out there. And um, someday I could be like, I want to delete Instagram and delete all my photos. So this way, at least I have these photos here in the now. Um, this are little stickers that I actually put on top of the um, photo because I had a big photo. So yeah, so this is just today. So this isn't a whole week. I just wanted to do this extra layout, which I thought was cool. It's actually the first time I've done two pages for just like kind of an event, but I liked it and it, you know, it doesn't really matter. I can make up my own rules as I go. So that's fun. And then this is the last week, full week of March and the last full week that I spent at home in Washington. Um, I was at home for the first part of it. I babysit my little brother, hang out with dogs, rode bikes. This um, little photo down here is actually um, a real film photo that I found these really cool old cameras in my grandma's um, my grandma's house, and I put a roll of 35 millimeter film in there and started taking some photos. Out of the 24 exposures, I think only 11 came out with photos on them at all, and only about five were decent, and so I actually clipped this out from one of the photos and put it in there. I am going to get better. And then we spent the this week in uh, Woodby Island, or this uh, March 28th. We uh, had a little funeral for my grandma, and spread some of our ashes and then we you know I got to see all my brothers which was cool um, we actually haven't all been together in like over two years so it was really cool to get a photo together we were um all my older brothers and I were in Vegas together but my younger brother who's only 14 wasn't there and then all my brothers were home for Christmas except for this one who's next to me who um was actually fighting fire or no he was in Pennsylvania on this um thing they were cleaning up um stuff in Pennsylvania so he wasn't there so it was nice to actually have us all in one place and then I came home and I think I'm going to I have the next two weeks done for um, April but I think I'm going to save those and share them at the end of April so yeah this is the week of or this is the month of March that's it thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions um, or any questions about like how I do it what I do um, yeah I just print on 11 by Oh, that's one that you're not supposed to see. I just print on 11 by 8.5 paper. And I do use, you know, ink. But the reason I like this project is because I have everything on hand. So, yeah, that was my down on paper project for the month of March. And I will be back at the end of April. It's already mid-April, so it will only be a couple weeks to share with you my layouts for the month of April. Thank you so much for watching.